Watch you guys got another video. Microsoft says that system restore points will now expire after 60 days. So what does that mean for you? Well, Microsoft says that their system restore points, i.e. snapshots of your PC system files and settings and registry will be deleted after 60 days of creation. So when you create a system restore point, and this is sort of a safety net so you can roll back to that time if you had an issue or a problem with your PC. You can go back, open System Restore and restore the system back to that time when you created that System Restore point. But Microsoft now say that these System Restore points will expire and are automatically deleted after 60 days now. So Microsoft have now confirmed that users can protect themselves by creating regular system restore points. So you will have to physically manually go in and create system restore points and keep them maintained to make sure you have a fresh restore point uh, to roll back to rather than relying on older uh, system restore points like a lot of people do. Now I can see some form of logic here from Microsoft because some of these system restore points after a while do become uh, so outdated that they're not much use. So keeping fresh system restore points is important. So you can see right here on this part here where it says, after installing the June 2025 working security update for Windows 11 version 24H2, the system restore points on that system will only last 60 days and they will be automatically deleted. So it's important that you go to your system restore panel and create a fresh system restore point. So basically system restore point can revert your PC back to a PC state to a previous point in time. So if your PC was working at the time when you created a system restore point and then say 30 days later, you go and install a program and it basically didn't work and it corrupted your operating system, you could roll back to that time where you created a perfect working uh, system restore. You could revert your PC back to that state in time. And this is useful for software installations, driver updates, or any sort of settings that you might have changed on your Windows PC. For instance, if you are tweaking your PC, you would create a system restore point, and then you would tweak your PC. And then obviously, if you wanted to roll back, you could roll back to that system restore point before you've done all of those tweaks and it will put the system back to some form of working state. Uh, even if you've messed up the system tweaks, it won't matter because you're going back to a working state before you've done those system tweaks. And this is how useful System Restore is. But really, by now, in 2025, you should be, if you do use System Restore, you should be creating regular System Restore points before you do any major changes to the operating system, i.e. installing software, registry tweaks, or any type of uh, driver updates or anything like that, you should always create a registry uh, backup or you should create a system restore point so you can roll back if something goes wrong. If you're not doing that and you are relying on old system restore points, then you're not going to be able to rely on them anymore once you update Windows because they will automatically be deleted after 60 days. Now, there's quite a few tools out there that you can use like this one right here, which will allow you to make registry backups of your system and you can set it to automatically backup your registry. That way, if you make changes to your registry, i.e. install a piece of software or make tweaks to your PC you, and you messed it up, you can always use your registry backups that you had to roll back to a time when the system was working correctly. So you could use something like this if you forget to create uh, you know, system restore points on a regular basis. So let's take a look here. So inside the, the actual program itself, when you first install it, this is the free version. And you can see it wants you to go through step one to step two. So you just follow through the steps. It's important that you have a full working system that is working correctly before you make a registry backup. Because if you're relying on this registry backup to roll back to, and there was problems with that operating system when you created the registry backup, it's not going to be a, a reliable backup to roll back to. So you really got to be careful. 
So you can see they want you to run system file checker to make sure everything is working correctly. And then once you've done all of those things, it will allow you to back up and restore your registry, which says recommended. So you can click on back up here and it will go ahead and back up your registry just like that. Very quick and easy to do. You can restore it as well. And here we can click on this little icon right here and this will allow you to do it to manual backup or you can set it to automatic backup and it will automatically back up your registry. You can go to the settings and change your backup location. You can see it's in my Windows drive and it's in a regback folder right here. I'll quickly show you. There is my registry backup right here that it's just created. So from here, you can then configure this. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because if you want to see a separate video, let me know in the comments section down below. But it will delete these backups after seven days and it will keep uh, up to five backups at least on the system. And you can see here we've got a scheduling option here where you can minimize uh, normal or hidden and you can have it running in the background. And there's also some other ones here which you can go through. And you can see the default name is called Manual Backup right here. So basically, you can do an automatic backup. Only do one automatic backup per day. If you want to check mark that box, you can do. You've got a system restore option here as well. And you can even set a, an automated backup system with this as well. You can see with the calendar right here, it will open up this window right here. And you can configure this if you wanted to. So you've got some options here available to you. Now, one thing that's important to remember is if you set, say, for instance, a registry backup, say, six months ago, there's going to be a lot of changes that have happened on your PC six months ago compared to the present day. So it's important that you keep these updated and weed out any older uh, registry backups on the system and remove them because they will be old uh, as in six months old and there'll be no good to you anyway really because you're going to go back too far so with major changes coming it's important that you keep manual regular backups of your system restore points and registry backups that's exactly what i would do they are good safety nets and they can get you out of major problems if your pc is having issues so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below uh, whether you think this is a big deal or not, uh, or whether you think it's a good move from Microsoft. I'll be happy to read your comments. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you in the next video, or I'll catch you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.